Hey there, this is Enda Scahal and thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. This tutorial is for an Irish jig called the Primrose Veil. Vale. It's a nice easy jig and it serves a great purpose for learning good picking patterns, good Irish jig rhythm and how to do that on the Irish banjo and also as a vehicle for learning lots of ornamentation. So there's triplets and trebles and chords, some pull-offs, a little cool passing chords and variations. So there's a lot of stuff in this. Go ahead and watch the whole video. There's tons to explore. And when you're done, if you want to learn the music, uh, I have it fully notated in tab, in regular staff notation and ABCs with video. Uh, and that's on Sound Slice. And you can access all of that through my Patreon. And the Skahal Banjo link is in the description. jig called the Primrose Veil vale. and it's in the key of D. We're going to learn it and I'm going to start with a very simple version. And just a quick note on picking patterns, uh, if you're brand new to this, then the first note of each uh, bar should definitely be a down. Um, and I think it's a good idea for beginners to pick it down, up, down, down, up, down and to stick with that for the time being. Jigs are very forgiving, so you can absolutely pick down, up, down, up, down, up, and you can vary the two depending on whether you, where, where the string crossing comes into a tune. But for establishing good picking patterns, uh, definitely reels is the way to go, but when you're doing jigs, down, up, down, down, up, down, first note of each bar absolutely to be a down. And when we do ornamentation, triplets and trebles always start in a down, down, up, down for those as well. We get to that. So here is a very slow, simple version of the Primrose Veil. Vale. version of the tune. I'm going to bring the pace up a little bit, really so that we can accentuate the jig rhythm and get that nice back and over feel. Uh, I'm going to keep it simple without any ornamentation just yet. And this is when you know the tune and you want to start to try and develop some nice swing. Thank you. 
look at some ornamentation. I'm going to start off pretty simple and we're going to build it up from there. So this, this round is just going to be some nice, easy introductory ornamentation. Primrose, Veil, Kiyadi, lovely stuff. <laughs> and trebles and, and a nice bit of interplay, some that are run down the way and some that run up the way. So get a little bit more uh, complex. All right, let's try a third round of the tune. And I'm just gonna try and again, just challenge you with more complicated ornamentation. No idea what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start playing and uh, just let the uh, mind run a little bit uh, freer with this one. <laughs> things it doubling down in the triplets as you're coming into the end of end of a part to kind of just create that little push as you come back into the first part or something so often with ornamentation I mean really it's kind of trying to use it mindfully uh, one way is to create a very busy section so that you can then resolve that with a quieter section uh, and the other is also I find is to round off those kind of harsh corners of the rhythm that banjo playing can suffer from and so by rolling into the end of bars and rolling out of corners and into corners it just softens that dagga 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 thing that banjo uh, can be quite famous for and ornamentation is a really good way of softening the rhythm and that's the way that I like to use it and I hope that you can hear some of that uh, in that. Let's try a version of the tune where we focus on chords. We'll uh, dial back the ornamentation a little bit just to make some space for what is available in terms of chords. And again, we're in the key of D. So get to know your triads, which is the, the three notes that stack in a particular key. So the chord of D or the triad of D is D, F sharp, A. It's also the arpeggio. 
So you'll know that if you're playing a tune in the key of D, and those bars that are grounded in that root note of the tune, you can harmonize them using Ds, F sharps, and As. Um, a, 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 a tune in the key of D is also usually going to encounter the, the chord of G and the chord of A. So it's one, four, and five if you're counting chords. And each of those chords has its own triad. So the triad of the, uh, key, the chord of G is going to be the arpeggio, which is G, B, D. So those bars where the tune moves into the chord of G, you can use some of those notes as harmonies, and then A, A, C sharp, E. You get to use some of those notes. So that's really rough chord theory, but I think probably the best way to do it, either experiment by just hitting things, and if they sound good, great, or follow what I'm gonna do now, and you'll get used to the shapes and the sounds of where the notes should arrive, one would hope. So here we go, let's focus on chords. that I love in Irish music um, and it can happen in many different tunes and it'll happen in it can happen in the second half of this the chord sequence I'm talking about is it's a D chord with a passing note uh, where we're going to flatten the F sharp make it an F natural and the chord is leading to the uh, chord of A basically a D chord where you're going to flatten the F sharp, leading, making it lead to the chord of A. So it fits into the second part of this tune. Primrose Veil with uh, lots of primroses thrown in for good measure. What I'm going to try to do this and I want you to listen out for is creating space. So often we tend to, or I tend to certainly, fill all the gaps in the tunes with triplets, trebles and all the kind of cool stuff. Uh, sometimes what works really nicely with that is by creating the contrast is using staccato notes where we just jump off a note and then kill the strings. All right, here's an example. So you're going to play the note and then kill the strings. And by doing that, it just it adds a little breadth to the tune. And this is about kind of creating phrases. So listen out for some of these. And again, you'll see it fully notated. I'm going to play it reasonably uh, speedily along just so that I can get into the vibe of the tune. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to pick out some interesting parts that you like and slot it in to the simpler version and then build it up as you go along. Thank you. 
reservation a little bit at the end, but that's what it's all about. Hope you enjoy uh, all of the lessons. It's part of the Primrose Vale.